welcome back to episode 8 of our New Zealand adventures. <laughs> In the last episode, we picked up our amazing camper van for the start of what's going to be an epic road trip. It'll just be pointed out, this is it right here. <laughs> You Jay always began how big they are. We're heading to Marlborough, then down the east coast of the Upper South Island with a quick stop in Hanmer Springs. Ooh -wee. We're cruising in the most premium rental we could find on Motorhome Republic, a 2018 Fiat Ducato Imola 720. They're typically a lot cheaper overseas, but this model with the extras retailed for over 150,000 New Zealand dollars. And today we want to show you around. <laughs> Out in the if you've ever spent time in a campground, you would have watched an envy as one of these beauties pulls in. The seats swing around, the satellite TV lifts, and the drivers relax in style with a drink and some live TV. Last year, that was us, but this year, we're the ones lounging. But how are they on the inside? What's the storage setup? How does it drive? What's the bathroom situation? How many beds? And what about the, uh, <laughs> the yuck stuff? Today, we're going to share it all. Reveal NZ Season 2 is made possible by Motorhome Republic, one of the largest motorhome rental agencies on earth that searches over 200 different suppliers from 45 countries to find the perfect vehicle for your budget. We filtered our search and saved by comparing loads of different New Zealand suppliers. Plus, with 15 years experience and 24-7 customer support, we're in good hands too. There's a link in the description below. Definitely check them out for your next roadie and this could be you. <laughs> So you've seen us driving, sort of living and existing in this camper van, but we haven't really shown in depth how it looks on the inside and sort of how I suppose we're living in it now. But it finally feels like home, yeah. so we've decided we kind of wanted to wait until um, we had figured out where everything goes, where we wanted to sleep, how things work, so we weren't guessing, oh what is in this cupboard, what's over here, what's this? Well, that was the collection video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where is everything, what do so we do? Now, so now we know, we want to take you guys on a bit of a tour. We're going to split it into two parts, I'm going to show you through the back or the rear which is kitchen, bedroom, bathroom and then Dane's going to show you where we get our work done and the dining room and also the cab and all the driving stuff and technology stuff that I don't know anything about. So we figured out pretty early on that the bed that we wanted to sleep in was down the back. This actually converts into a lounge but the, there's also a bed above the cab which you drag out and you fold a mattress down. It works. Yeah, but I think there's space but it's it's not it's as just wide. It's a little bit more um, cozy. It feels king single-ish whereas yeah, this feels this more feels like queen. Huge. Queen or dub, dub queenish? I kind of think it's in between the two. Yeah. So then up here we have um, a few of our clothes and bits and pieces and things that we need in the morning like my contacts. Um, few kitchen appliances like kettle, toaster, <laughs> that closes, <laughs> that locks actually which is great. This is where I get ready in the morning, this is where I do my makeup and then when we're in powered sites you can use hair dryers, um, straighteners and stuff so this is where I plug my straightener in and Dane's got a bit of a wild system that he's come up with but I'll, <laughs> I'll let him explain that. This is the kitchen. We have gas and electric. So we only have electric when we're plugged into a power source at a campsite. This one here is electric and these three are gas. Then we also have a grill and an oven, which is new for us this time around. And then up here we have microwave. Then we have the sink. This um, lifts up when you want to use it and then the tap just goes around here. And then when we're driving, we just store all the stuff in here so nothing moves around. Heaps of storage space. As you can see we've just shoved in as much as we possibly can. <laughs> These are really good because they are just melamine I think it's called. Yeah but I don't think you can microwave those which has been a little no. tricky. We haven't tried it. We read the instructions first and then we have a huge fridge. This is awesome because when we're on power we can um, obviously put it on a powered source. When we're not on power, we can put it on gas. And then we can also use the battery, which, well, not right now, but it's cool that there are options there. The fridge opens like this. I didn't clean this, oh gosh. <laughs> it's kind of messy at the moment, but you can see, you can fit quite a bit of stuff in there. And it also has a massive freezer as well. 
we have cutlery drawer i'd say like most camper vans they have the locking push uh, mechanism well, yeah while we're driving so it doesn't swing open and then we have in here is our um ginger nuts <laughs> 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 this is um cooking stuff uh chopping board they supplied pack. so much eh? even the um Eats. like the, the bags for the rubbish and the um what's, what's the can there uh that's air freshener oh air freshener <laughs> <laughs> which is for the toilet which we'll show you <laughs> the windows are one of my favorite parts because we don't have to fluff around with blinds which is awesome yeah so many can... options so the windows do all open and then you've got multiple options here as well so if we get super hot while we're cooking and then if you don't want any flies or bugs to come in, you can put the sunshade down so you've still got the airflow. And then at night, once you're all closed up, you can put the so locker good, eh? bit down. So many options. So easy. Now for the bathroom. Just <laughs> hanging out in the shower. Which you actually can. We this actually, is a good shower. We've used the shower quite a few times, unlike the last time got a shower head that you can take off you can put all your toiletries up here when you're not driving and then this is how it works you unhook it from the wall and then you hook it into the side bit it's gone there you go <laughs> and then it's closed <laughs> And the crazy thing is, the water is so hot. The first day that I went to get in there, I thought, turn that is straight to the hot and crank it up. Within about, I reckon like 10 seconds, mm -hmm. I went to get in and was like, oh, damn, I had you to turn it back to turn down. on the hot water, it just automatically starts heating. Yeah, as soon as we're on plugged in, it, like, it is doing its thing. It's so good. This is the toilet. Depending on how big you are or how long your legs are, you can twist it to move. You do your business. You open up the. Um, I'm not going to show you. No, it's, it's a bit gross. You open it up. You do your business. Get your toilet paper. Do your thing. And then once you're all done, this is the water. That's how you flush it. And then you close the lid, wash your hands, and you're good to go. We'll show you how to dump that afterwards. Yay! Dane will show you. This is our wardrobe and storage. I'm gonna show you quickly because I didn't clean it. Well, Whoa, there it is, there that's it is. all you get to see. <laughs> There's heaps of storage. We've got a suitcase under the bed. Um, but yeah, that's our everyday stuff. Down here is the heater. You can use it on two different modes, on gas and when you're plugged in. Heats up pretty quickly. There's like a fan mode, which works super fast and then there are vents all over the place. I don't really I reckon, know how it works, I but think about, I think about 20 minutes was yeah. enough the other morning, but we actually haven't even really, haven't really needed, needed it much. It. Front door. This is the rubbish bin. It's got a built in umbrella for when we need to do our shoveling. And then this oh, oh, it might be my favorite part. It's cool, eh? Hello. <laughs> Welcome home. <laughs> Welcome to the front half, which actually kind of feels like the same space because these seats both of them actually twist around but we don't really we don't really bother with yours very much yeah. eh? because this one actually connects up to the table which as you can see should be where you would normally dine but we end up doing a lot of work sitting here and then we've still got a little bit of couch we actually have, <laughs> we have a satellite we get free view it's crazy we don't really watch a hell of a lot of tv but it's actually quite nice to like rock up to a campsite and then chuck on the six o'clock news see what's going on with COVID in the world basically this part comes around and makes into a larger table if we wanted to do that in terms of the cabling that Stace mentioned there's not that there's actually not many plugs which is a little bit of a downside for us because as you can see cameras and stuff everywhere we are sort of power users when it comes to needing um, equipment plugged in and charged and whatever um, so yeah I've, I've had to come up with a little bit of a hack to work around it so I've had to get a little bit creative here in the kitchen this is only one of two power points so what I've done is we went to the warehouse and we bought a five meter extension cable that I've run along the back up over here which actually sits quite nicely on this lip down the side in behind the curtains it looks a bit loose at the moment and it stays in while we're driving and then basically then we also bought a surge protected power board and we just chuck everything into there and unfortunately the batteries and phones and all sorts of stuff have to go off here and then when we're working we just have to run the cable across not the most ideal situation for when we're driving but we can just unplug a few things tuck it in rest them in there and then we hit the road 
like Stacey's driving. <laughs> in terms of the other bed option, in fact, this is a bed option too here, I think, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah so it's kind of a six berth. So there's another, which we would never use this because it would break up the functionality of it all. But this slides forward, which I won't go too far because this has become our little storage space for bits <laughs> here. Um, that slides forward, the bed folds out, and then these, the hooks that the ladder comes down on if you wanted to sleep up there. But as you can see, it's just sort of the spot that the douchebag sits in for different <laughs> bits and pieces and we can just store stuff up there and not worry about it. But let's go into the driving spot. So, one thing that I love, and this is just irrelevant really, it's just a comfort thing, is the armrest. I think we're getting old. So I reckon. And <laughs> no! <laughs> What's happened? Anyway, it's actually really nice to drive. I, I have been impressed. It doesn't have huge amounts of power, but there has been maybe one or two situations going up a hill where I would have liked just a little bit more guts. Other than that, absolutely perfect. It's an automatic manual gearbox. Even though it drives in auto, you do still, and it feels like the gears are changing. So when you're going from like first, you feel this mm, and you can hear the rev change as though you'd manually done it few bits of functionality in terms of volume the Bluetooth works really nice the sound system is fairly decent I just changed it to boost the treble a little bit because it was otherwise a bit a bit echoey no maps no maps in the system which is a little bit of a pain but we just rest Stacey's phone here and we can we can use maps that way uh, indicators are on the left and the handbrake is on the right so it's sort of this hybrid European sort of situation. So we've got big cup holders down here, which has been super helpful. We just chuck our bottles on there and then we're on the way. The mirror is decent to like, it's a lot. I mean, it's seven meters long. So you've got quite a, quite a way to sort of see. You do get a little bit of blockage from the seat, but I'm happy with that to make sure that we've got the space to live in and in driving, I can see more than enough down the back. And you've got the reversing camera. Vital in a car like this and really nice mirrors that are kind of out on you know, extensions almost, a bit like what you see the people with when they have caravans, they have those big extensions. They're not that wide, but they, you do get a really good view, which I'm stoked with down the back. I feel like that's it. Air conditioning works really well. We haven't struggled with heat or anything. Dane forgot to mention the blind situation. So good, the, um, the windows do that too. So we got all the privacy we need. So I can see that we're a bit low on water. I think we've only got two out of the five bars available left. So just plugged in to get some fresh water. Most of the campsites that we go to, um, from memory anyway, from the last big trip, they pretty much have the water right on site. So there's a hose right there, which looks like it's probably connected with maybe four different sites. But you just plug in, sit here, chill out for a little while, and then wait. Apparently with this one, I'm gonna see an overflow on the underside. So we should just hear water basically coming out. Assuming my numbers are correct, there's a 135 liter fresh water tank, and then there's a 100 liter uh, gray water, which is basically the waste that comes from the sink and the shower. The toilet is separate, that's the, the black water or whatever else you want to call that. But we're going to go empty the grey in a minute because we've got low. I'm guessing that means that our grey is probably getting pretty full by now. So while the fresh water is filling up, we'll do a quick tour of the outside. Diesel is right by the passenger door. That only costs about $65 to fill up because diesel is only $1.30 per litre and one awesome thing through Motorhome Republic and through Discover NZ who this is through um, we don't have to pay for any road users charges which is huge that cost us 300, I think. 300 New Zealand dollars last time for the camper van driving that we did in five weeks so that's massive savings fresh water's there which is still going and here is pretty straightforward there's six tables and chairs and then well six chairs and then a table that we can six set tables. up but it often doesn't matter because there's a table you know there's often tables right next to the sites so, straightforward, power was plugged in there. Waste, this is the grey that I was talking about, so we will unfortunately have to deal with that very soon. <laughs> LPG bottle is in here, so this is where all the gas comes from, which you actually leave on while you drive and everything as well, because it's that's how the fridge is keeping cool while we're driving. You change it over. I ain't gonna touch this one yet until I put <laughs> some, some surgical gloves on. Toilet is in there, we'll deal with that in a second. And then you already saw when I opened up the other um, the other, what do you call it? Compartment. Compartment. <laughs> the compartment there. And then that's where we have the pegs and the gloves and the, the biscuits to feed the toilet for the <laughs> for the hygiene and stuff afterwards. So it's fully equipped. I think that's pretty much it. I 
always a good idea to start with the grey water because there's a hundred litres worth of stuff to come out of this first. However many human litres in that one. <laughs> Yo. And once it's all connected, just pull the magic lever. And we have movement, which we won't show you. Ooh, you can hear it. This one's just a little lever. You pull it open, and I won't show you, but basically, you unplug that and just dump it down. <laughs> so reward the good behavior. That's the bit I help with. <laughs> Thanks, babe. It's such a good team effort. I always offer. No, I'm happy to Take one bite the, the bullet on this one. You more often than not cook for me, so it's only fair. This is a wine trail map, so really all the stars on this map are basically showing you where you can go taste it. Cool. Now, yes. do you, would you like me to put that down a bit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a start! The next ride is going to be um, real big. Woo! <laughs> Oh wow, one hand off already? This is such a unique experience. I love the food, I love the chickens, as annoying as they are. <laughs> Surroundings, the scenery, and the wine. Can't forget the wine. Cheers. Cheers. Be not greedy.